It is year 2019. I've been playing Fortnite and League of Legends. But the only difference between me and then was I had a girlfriend, which I broke up with on Christmas Eve. Now it is 2020 and I'm still kind of heartbroken because you just feel empty after things like that. But I hear that there's a new game called Project A. My friends talked about it and they told me that you should watch streams on Twitch to get the key to play the game. Which kind of got me hyped up and the thing is, I've decided if I do get the key, I will be going and trying to become famous in the game. That after two hours of watching the stream, I gave up. And one of my friends told me, we all have the key, I'm gonna watch the streams for you and give you the game. Two days later, he comes up and tells me, yo, you wanna play? I got the key. And at that time, I made the account, I made it possible, I log into the game and I started playing with friends. It was fun. And there's this one friend in particular that tryhards in every single game he plays and he was really good. Meanwhile, at the beginning, I was bronze and he was diamond. And mind me, at that time in the beta, well, diamond Immortal, there was not Immortal 1, 2, 3, it was just Immortal and there was Valorant. It wasn't called Radiant. I've always tried catching up to him and I was trying so hard to just be at his level because it was fun. And the thing is, once we got the ranks, we could not play together. And what he would do is he would quit the game until I would become better so that we could play again. And technically, I never stopped playing the game as soon as I got it and he had some periods where he would not play at all. And the thing is, I gave it my best shot trying to make it big, not only in Valorant with my rank but also on YouTube. I've started with making tutorials, I've started with making funny videos, I even made montages which gave me the most fun out of all. But one year in, I noticed that my montages were bad. Because there was creators like Ladith, Flights, all these, you know, bigger names that you were used to watching. And I kind of just still made montages, but I felt inferior. It is still 2021 and I go into the university from high school and I hear that there is an esports community. And the thing is, at that point, I was like Diamond, Immortal 1-ish, and they actually invited me to play Valorant and represent my university, which was very impressive because there is a community of people that, you know, play the game as well. And there's a lot of other universities in my country that I can play against. And this was fun because I felt like I belonged somewhere. And the thing is, as 2022 was rolling out, well, this was the first ever tournament that I played outside of the university. And it was on the Valorant Balkan League, which was a scam, but the thing is, it was fun. I got invited by one of my friends from the other university. We participated, we did pretty good. We didn't get any money, but it was still fun. And you know, it is still 2022, and after the tournament, I. I was getting desperate to become the best. I wanted to become Radiant because I wanted to be at that top 500. And the thing is, I spent most of my times out of university just to grind the game and, and the more I was forcing it, well, the worst I was. I was still participating in charity tournaments where I met this Sky main, which you probably know about, and his name is Paxi or Joseph. And at the time of meeting, he was also at like 800 or 1000 subscribers. And then I saw that someone also is doing the same thing as I was. And that got me hyped because all of a sudden one of his videos popped off and he started getting a lot of traction, which initially motivated me because the thing is, he is from the same country as me and he's doing the same thing as me and I see him succeed. And I was very happy also that I've met somebody like that. So at the end of 2023, I'm just grinding like nothing ever mattered. And I'm just disregarding my health, eating junk food. Just, I didn't even go to university. I was just cooped up in my room trying to get that RR. And 
And I started playing with pro players in random games like Nats, Safe, and generally people that were really good. And finally, on September 9th, after so many tries, it was not a dream. In 2023, I got Radiant. And it did take me three years, but I started with nothing. I started with Bronze, and I was solo queuing most of my games. And after I did hit Radiant, I felt empty. I didn't want to play the game because I've seen that there's nothing more to it. I'm not getting any followers. Nobody likes me. And that's when I started focusing on my anime channel, which was doing really well at the time. So nine days after, you know, quitting the game, I just run up one random game and it was on Breeze. And at that time, I've met someone that was very special to me because in the prime time of Fnatic, when Doma was playing in the game, I've adored the lineup because simply Durka, Boaster, Magnum, Doma, and Mystic were amazing. And simply because Doma was Croatian, that made me love Fnatic a lot more. And in this game of Breeze, in the second round, I hear a voice that I recognize. I ask, but are you by any chance Durka? Yeah, I guess so. Damn, bro. Hey, I love you, man. Oh, They're like, <laughs> fucking hell, man. But anyways, it was an amazing game. I loved every second of it. And it's a really good surprise that I come back to the fucking game and then... What the fuck? What the fuck? Bro, he sent me a friend request. I wanted to show gratefulness and I wrote a cringy message to him after we played the game and what happened is he added me as a friend, made me not quit the game. I am very grateful to Durka for this but the thing is that if that day did not happen I would probably not play Valorant ever again because I saw that life was more than just playing video games which is very self-explanatory, but, but when you're so locked in something, well, you just don't see anything else. And then my roommate that hated video games also started playing Valorant, and she just enjoyed the game, and we played here and there, but I still solo queued. And one day I came to her room, and then I just did a Brimstone voice line, and it sounded very good. Now, this doesn't matter too much, but on November 18th, 2023, I met Benji Fishy and Rians in a random game. And these guys, mind me, are professionals that are playing in champions right now. Benji Fishy was an idol for my brother once when he was still playing Fortnite, so it was like a big moment for me. And also, Rians is an amazing guy, and I'm very happy that we met. But mainly the only reason they liked me so much was because I was able to do the Brimstone voice lines. But I still appreciate them very much. On February 25th, 2024, I was playing my first ever serious LAN with the university team, but we were playing to qualify to play University Esports Masters, where all of the universities from Europe would band together and compete who's the best. And meanwhile, I also got an opportunity to play for a team that was backed up by a company. And the thing is, I was a regular student. I was not a regular, so that means I have to attend classes normally. And I didn't have the motivation to play that much. And the team agreed that they would drop me. The land that we played, we won it. And we got to play the university sports masters. And after seeing the opportunity to play in a bigger tournament, it is what it is. Uh, we ended up losing the tournament. We were like eighth, we lost to Ukraine, but you know, after seeing an opportunity that I could play in Game Gang 2024, I decided I wanna sign in, but there's a problem. Since the X team that I played in signed me as their sixth player, well, I couldn't join. But after I reached out to the admins, they agreed that I could play and make a new team. And so I did. I took the best people that are new from the universities of Croatia, and then we decided to give it a go. Mind me, the team that dropped me, they did not qualify. Meanwhile, we were trying hard, so we only had to win one more game, and we would be in the top three. And that happened. So with four people that I don't hang around with usually, 
I'm going outside of my country for the first time just because of a Valorant tournament. And that's when me and them went to Slovenia. We ended up being third, everybody got 50 bucks. And the thing is, what made me really happy is I got my own VLR page just because of that tournament. And I've had this journey for a long time and I tried and I tried and I tried. I didn't make it as big as some of these creators did, but the thing is, I gave it my best. I even got to Radiant, I played in the LAN tournament, I've met amazing people that I watch all the time on the screen, and I just wanted to share this story because some people might not get these opportunities, but if you love something and if you're 100% in it, you're going to succeed. And the thing is, I'm still trying to make Valorant work on my YouTube channel. The effort that I put in these videos is limited, and not only that, well, I'm having fun and that's the only thing that matters and it was enjoyable right now i don't know if it's still worth it to spend so much time or not if you're wondering still how valorant changed my life well everything that i once thought was impossible became possible since i reached radiant i played with the professionals that i've watched on the screen that was enough to just change me as a person it made me grow it does sound funny it's a video game but still even in video games, you can feel emotions. And this is going to be the checkpoint that the next story will continue on.